Toe Girl. Good morning everyone. This is going to be an intermediate advanced at home ballet bar and we will start in first position with the left hand on your bar or your chair or whatever space you've established for this. Here we go. We'll start with plies. We'll take two demi plies in first, one grand plie. We'll take a nice flat back over, roll up, plie, releve, rotating those heels as you lower down, tendu to second. Two demi plies in second, one grand plie. Lift the heels, turn parallel, flat back over, stay here, hang out until count five, plie, roll up through the spine and neck, rotate the heels to find fourth position. Two demi plies, one grand plie, tendu the front foot, flat back over, flat back up, press into hombre, and tendu close fifth. Two demi plies, one grand plie, flat back over, roll up, lift hombre to the back, plie susu balance, arms in first position, and we'll turn to the second side. Here we go. Heels lift, rotate parallel, over to the front, stay here, drop the head, plie, roll up, turn out, fourth position, demi, demi, make sure the back knee doesn't fall forward, ground plie, straight spine, heels down. Tendu the front foot, make sure the heel stays lifted. Plie flat back over. Press to the back. Tendu fifth, arm rotates. Demi. Grand plie, don't lean forward. Keep the hips in line, don't let them tip back. Straight up, flat back over. Roll up, lift, square shoulders, no twisting, arm rotate, plie susu, nice tight susu, one leg, make sure that back heel is lifting forward, find a good first position, lifted elbow, shoulders down, Change the arms, bring them forward and up to fifth. One more eight count. And lift. And finish. Good. We'll turn to the second side. So it's difficult to practice lots of things like big turning combinations or you know lots of different angles at the bar but it's a really great place to work on some of your placement some of your those fundamental things that you need to make everything else in your dance vocabulary really successful so it's a really great time to take those balances at the end I'll try to leave a good chunk of time so we can really get those balances in there a few eight counts on each side um, it's a really great time to think about some of the subtle things, like when you plie, does your pelvis tip back for you to come up? Um, so you can think about some of those smaller details in your placement and technique while you're working at home. Okay, left side.
straight spine, keep the chin lifted, use the head on the way up, flat back over, over to the front, roll up, and plie, lift the heels, plie, rotate the arm, second position, Demi. arms in first position. Find the placement of the rib cage and the torso. Shoulders down, not too high that it tips you back, not too low. Everyone's is at a slightly different height. I really like mine just below my chest or below my shoulders so I can really feel the top part of my chest pressing forward. Lift forward enough with those arms. Stay on those balance. Try to find the structure. Quiet ankles, rotated heels, stretched elongated backs of the knees, hips in a straight line down, strong stomach, strong ribs, no arching. Finish the A count. It's tricky. This is the staircase here and it's curved, so it's not a perfect, can't be perfectly perpendicular to the bar the way you can in a studio. So make sure that when you're working on your placement, you're making sure that your hip bones and the front part of your shoulder um, are really in the same orientation. When you come right back, you don't want to lose that connection between the shoulders and the hips. So even if you're on surface where you could kind of stand lots of different angles, make sure that whatever angle you choose for the exercise, you're aware of your hips and your shoulders to maintain that good placement. We'll take tondu, starting in first position. We'll take tondu, flex and point and close. Tondu, fondu, fondu, pull it in. One and two and three and four, five. Six, seven, eight. Arm in second the whole time. To the back, looking under slightly with the head. Be careful with the under and over that you're not changing the torso. So it's just the head, but it's not affecting, again, our hips and our shoulders and that coordination. Front side, back side. Then we'll take plie. Roll through all the way left and down. Elevate. Plie. Heels down and stand. We'll do that twice through. Then we'll plie releve balance in first position. Again, really paying attention to our heels and all those tiny little pieces of our placement. Tondus, tondu flex and point and close, tondu, fondu, fondu, pull in. En trois, plie, roll through. Here we go. Nice and slow, waking up our joints and our feet and our legs. Second position, on, tondu. Knee over toes, 
Hold tight to the back, looking under. Under. Flex. Heel pulls you in. Out. Knee over toes. Side. Turn the head to the right. And to the left. Head left. Don't let those ankles fall back. And head up. Keep the chin forward. Last one. Head down. Plie, plie, to the back, looking under, one, plie, to the side, really pushing through the floor, again, to the front, maintaining placement between your shoulders and your hips, to the side. Plie, plie. Hold tight, looking under. One, two, point, close. Five, six, seven. Close eight, toes through the metatarsal flex. Point, Plie, down, heels, stretch the knees, lower, lift, plie, hold the turnout, squeeze, down. Plie, releve and balance, plie, arms in first. That's really finding the structure of the torso. Head to the left. Head. And to the right. Looking up. Keep the chin forward so you don't fall backwards. Strong ankles.
normal. Present. And finish. Whew. Good. My feet feel nice and awake now. Okay. We'll take tondus from fit. Tondu, plie, tondu, plie, tondu, clush, clush, close. Tondu, plie, tondu, plie, tondu, plie, tondu, and close to the back. One and two and three and four after fifth for the clush. Tondu, clush, clush, close to the side, plie, to the side, plie, to the side. Shift, push, close. I was going to detourne right away, but I think it's tricky, like, I have a nice, railing here, but if you're on a chair, I feel like turning to the other side right away at home is really tricky. So we'll go ahead after our last side plie, tendu, we'll cut right up, so I'm doing an elevate on my supporting leg, and pull right into a susu, and I'll take the coup de pied derriere with my inside leg, and balance there to plie and finish. And then we'll turn to the second side. I feel like turning to the second side on a chair, it's really tricky, you gotta like readjust. Here we go. Tendu plie, tendu plie, front, back, front, close, to the side. Side plie, side plie, side plie, push it back, close behind. Reverse, and then we'll take from the side, cut the foot right in front, lift that coup de pied derriere. I've said this in class before, but you don't want to drag the toes up. Even if you fix the foot, going through the sickled position. So really circle the toes away from you, pressing the inside knee open to get that really nice coup de pied derriere position. Here we go. Tondus. Tondu. Plie. Tondu. Plie. Front. Clush. Clush to the side. 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 Plie. Push to the back. Reach. Clush. To the side. Heel forward. Heel forward. Su su, lift up. Circle the toes, open the inside knee. Shoulders and hips square to each other so they're matching like a cereal box. And take a balance. Back through su su. Plie. Good, and we'll take our our chair and we'll do some quicker dejes. We'll do your right. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, 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 one. Okay, I've talked about this in the studio a lot as well, especially on the first one when we switch from right to left. You don't want the heel to go first. Yeah, so you don't want to have that little slip moment and then the foot turns out. You want to really keep that heel in line as you're going. Here we go. We'll do it twice through. Eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, 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 one. We'll go the other way on the second set. One, 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 two, two, four, four. Eight, eight. Finish. We'll take a little plie. Hmm. Let's do eight plie releves, eight elevés, still facing the chair bar kitchen counter, wherever you're working. Here we go. Little dégagés. They're not that, they're not quite glissé speed. 
Yeah, so we're still kind of slow. And one, and two, and three. We'll do a faster glissade and fifth after this. Here we go. Take your chance. Don't let the heel slip. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two. Make sure the ankle gets all the way in line. your balance, arms in second. Don't let the elbows pinch behind you. Right arm A long chase up to fifth. Left arm long up to fifth. Arms open. stays a little bit quicker. We've done this hold pattern in class, definitely. So a lot of us will be familiar with this. We're holding count four, holding count three, holding count two, holding count one. Yes, we'll do four counts, front side and back side. And then on the second set, we'll repeat and we'll just go on claw with the same hold pattern. Um, for those of you that are in level six or younger, um, or aren't as familiar with this pattern, you can repeat it without doing the singles on claw. So the first set we have, you can leave the arm in second or you can do quarter bra up to you. One and two and three, hold four. One and two, hold three, four. One, hold two, three, four, hold one, two, three, four. So that's the first set. You can repeat that exact same thing or you can repeat it on claw. So on quad, we definitely leave the arm in second. One and two and three, hold four. One and two, hold three, four. One, hold two, three, four, hold one, two, three, four. So the foot continues to go on quad. You're holding count four, count three, count two, count one. We'll do that um, so you can repeat it twice or you can do four in each position um, twice through. And they're a little bit quick. Leave the arm in second, or you can add port de bras, whatever you feel. And um, let's go, we'll just finish at the end. Two, three, four. One, two, three. 
Susu, Retire. On count seven, eight. Plie, one and two, three and four. On layer low, five, six, seven, cloche, cloche. Singles, one, two, three, four. On layer, five, six, fondue, susu, retire. From the back, plie, one, two, three, four. On layer, five, six, seven, cloche, cloche. Singles, one, two, three, four. On layer, five, six, seven, and eight. Repeat second time through. Higher round de jambe on layer, no cloche. Four singles. This time we'll do a brush for tiré through. Susu up. Okay, so first set, two plié, round de jambe on layer, cloche, cloche. Four singles, round de jambe on layer, fondue, susu, passe. Second set, two with plié, round de jambe on layer, higher, no cloche. Four singles, lift, devil pay through, and up, up. We'll balance and retire at the end. Up to retire and lift, rotate the standing heel. Too far, keep the weight forward. Clash, clash, singles. One. On leg. Plie. And rotate the supporting heel. Heel turns out as you come around. Thigh rotates, bring it to the front. On leg. Rotate to that ossicum, keep the heel lifted, clash, clash. Singles, toes, heel, toes, heel. Stay on balance, you can change to susu. Stay in the tire. Yes, you can face your chair. Find the passe position. Stay pulled up. Good, finding length in your supporting leg. High releve. Don't let that heel start to sink as you're on balance. If you lose your balance, find a good placement again. Fix it and test the balance again. Don't balance if the position has started to sink or morph. You want to memorize the really good position, so make sure it stays where you want it, port bra included, and finish when you're ready. Don't let the 
the leg take you. Keep your body forward. Singles. One. Make sure your standing leg next to your chair or your bar stays turned out. On layer again. Lift. And around. Fondue. Susurritire. And rotate that right heel. And around. On layer. That's maintaining the lift. Closh, closh. Single. Toe, heel. Toe, heel. Make sure it goes through a turned out first position. Fight for that balance. Make sure your quarter bra is keeping your weight. The supporting leg, don't let the heel sink. Keep the knee back, the retira heel forward. Pull up all the way through that supporting under butt. Don't let it start to sit back. Stay nice and lifted. You can find susu, stay retire. Stay pulled up. Do your checklist. Yes, use more if you need to. So you're Memorizing a clean position, not just bouncing on one foot for as long as you can. And find a nice finish when you're ready. Good. Good, we'll take one song to stretch. And if you want to stretch again, you can just rewind and listen to the song again. Pause the video and take as much of a stretch as you like. When we're finished stretching, we'll do fondues, frog face, devil pace, a little swingy closhy guy, and ground bar boss. Okay, so I'll put on a nice stretch song. We'll just take one song to stretch. You can stretch any way you want. I feel like putting the leg up on the bar or your chair, whatever at home, can be a little tricky. Yeah, so do some standing stretches. Make sure you're not just stretching with things you're flexible at. I feel like a lot of times it's like, oh, I'm really good at my right split. So we just do our right split to stretch. You want to make sure you're stretching. Think of everything as having two sides. If I'm stretching the front of my leg, I want to stretch the back. Um, does that make sense? You're kind of getting both parts. If I'm stretching a turned out inside of my thighs, I want to make sure I'm getting all, all sides, uh, particularly with the attachments in the hip. So if I'm stretching the front of the hip, I want to make sure I stretch my hamstrings with the back of the leg. This is a really nice one, just crossing it over. You could just plie or push down with this knee, that really stretches out those turnout muscles. Keep that hip down. 
So you're really stretching the inside of that hip, not just trying to crank the leg up. video I really like we've been doing this for a while in class too the it's not very fondue-y but really stopping in that double attitude um, I think it really helps establish a pattern of movement in our brains and our bodies to where we're not going fondue stretch the leg stretch the knee so we really want to make sure or fondue straighten the leg and then devil pay we really want to find the coordination of those knees and I think a really great way to do that is to find that double attitude. So we'll take fondue, double attitude, and then the legs are really well prepared to straighten together. This is count two, stretch the legs, three, close, four. Then we'll take a little double peg, no fondue, five, six, seven, eight, just to kind of let that leg breathe a little bit. It doesn't have to be super high, we will do an adage. Just a little bit of a quicker get the leg moving a little bit. So we'll take a slow fondue, one, stop, two, stretch the knees together, three, close where you came from, four, double pay up, five, six, seven, eight, yeah? And again, not your, I would say this would be, if your regular highest double pay is here, probably do this one like here, just to kind of get the hips and the legs moving a little bit, especially if we've been uh, indoors a lot kind of build up to our um, full extension. Okay, here we go. We'll take that on quad. At the end, we'll take a susu retire, a front attitude balance. Arms can go to fifth, a longe, pull into susu and close. Follow that path to get out of that balance, whether you hold on to your bar or chair or not. Be careful, sometimes we balance and then we lose this and it becomes a really unfortunate transition out of that position. So make sure, attitude, okay, pretty good balance, even if you need to grab back on, then allonger, then susu, then finish. So it's better to work through those really clean positions and clean transitions than doing it without the bar at all. Here we go. Fondue with a gentle devil thing. Fondue, attitude, stretch, close. Five, six, seven, eight. And fondue, attitude, stretch, close in front, up, lift the knee, tondu, close. Fondue, attitude, stretch, close, lift, extend. To the side. Keep the hips square. Stretch. Keep that leg in front of you. Up. Hip under. That's all. And susu. Retire. Attitude. Stay. with or without the bar. Tight susu. to the side, you want to make sure that it's not the outside of the hip pulling that extension, but the hip is really staying folded, the knee lifts, and then the legs go. 
One thing that will help get that good placement is not taking your leg wider to your ossicon than your turnout allows. So wherever your best turnout in first position is, that's where your ossicon tendu should be. Your ossicon lift, 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 lift. It should all be on that same path where your foot is. So you don't want your tendu to be here. Your tendu, your first position here, your tendu here, and then when you start doing your extensions, your leg is out there. It's gonna roll in and the hip is gonna take over. Um, same thing is true for those devil pigs. Yes, you don't want the outside of the hip to lead the devil pig. It's a really similar structural thing to we talked about in the day, to what we talked about in the day days with the heel leading. You don't want the outside of the leg. You want the inside of the leg. So from your material position, make sure that hip is down and engaged at the back of the leg. Then from there, lift the knee, keeping that hip in place. If you put your hand there and you lift the knee, you should literally fold your fingers inside. Then you extend and you're trying to show off the bottom of your foot. So you have this hip down, rotated leg. You gotta hold on to it because I'm old. Hip down, rotated leg at any height. Yes, yeah, so it's not just about getting the leg high. It's also about having it well placed, whatever height that's at. All right, second side. singles to the side four singles double back and hold double side and hold double back double side double back double side we'll repeat you can do the repeat on releve if you wish my suggestion for frappes on um, in releve would be to do it from coup de pied position not from wrap positions I feel like it's really hard to get back to a clean position um, some of you that have done some Vaganavan stuff and you want to use that wrap position Make sure you're consistent with it. If you use it, um, it's a front position, so it's either coup de pied devant or still the coup de pied with that wrap. Those are your two front variations. Pinky toe in front, heel in front, or heel in front, foot is wrapped behind. Back is the same. So make sure you're being really clear with those positions. I know some of my more advanced girls, sometimes you guys blend them together. You're more familiar with that sort of so the coup de pied position, which is really lovely, um, but make sure you're being really clear with yourself about what position your foot is in. For the frappes on flat, I like to do a flex foot. Make sure that knee gets back. Yeah, you don't want to leave it out there. No fake frappes. Yeah, make sure you're really pushing into the floor. It shouldn't make a hard sound. We're not trying to break our feet. We're trying to push through the floor. So it's a little bit more like striking a match than hitting something. It has to have that motion through it. It has to have that pressure into the floor. Yes? Um, four singles to the front. One, two, that's up. Three, four to the side. Side, 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 
side. Double, make sure the heel is fully beating, whether you're on flat um, or in releve, in releve, whole foot. Beat, beat, yeah, so don't let it swing. Same thing here, heel, heel. So the beats are coming in, not swinging back and forth. Double to the front, hold the out. Double to the side, hold the out. Younger dancers, you can repeat that. Double to the front, hold out. Double to the side, hold out. Or we'll do the faster double, double. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, hold two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we're doubling up the last ones. And then we reverse it, and then we'll repeat. Probably won't repeat it with you because I'm almost eight months pregnant and my hips hurt. Okay, here we go. Front face, on uh, at the end, full petit bama. Yeah, so after we've done two sets, on de or, on de da, on de or, on de da. Second set can be on releve, but petit bama will do really slow first. In, in, in for an eight count, faster for an eight count, balance of your choice. Here we go. Tongue, flex, we have one, two, three, four, side, 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 double front, double side. Double front, double front, double side, double side. Back, two, three, four. Side, two, three, four. To the back, to the side. To the back, to the back, to the side, to the side. Front, two, three, four. Side, 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 side. Double front, double side. Double front, double side. To the back. Two, high releve, ground releve, don't let the heel slip. Strong elbows, back, side, back, side. Put your make sure it comes in. In, 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 in. Still coming in and out, not front and back. In and out. Sue, sue. You can take a, I'm going to do a sur le coup de pied balance. You can do any balance. Coup de pied, sur le coup de pied, devant, derrière. Balance as long as you'd like. Finish when you're ready. particularly if you're doing a releve prep is through the coup de pied, is really making yourself think about that in and out so that leg isn't swinging. We don't want our beats in the center to go front to the back. We really want them to go sideways. So that's where we develop, it's called the fast twitch muscles that really help those legs fold and move side to side. Side to center instead of front to back. Okay, second set. You'll notice just in what I was saying, I said it both ways. So the first time I did double front, double front, double side, double side. Second set on relevant, I did double front, double side, double front, double side. So whichever version you're doing, you've got that example in there. Here we go. Tommy, flex. One, two, three, four. Hold the out. Hold out. Hold out. And front, front, side, side. To the back. Two, three, four. Hold and hold. Back, back, side, side, front. Two, three, knee back, side, 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 side. Double front, double side, double front. To the back, keep the supporting leg lifted, shoulders and hips square. Yes, whatever angle you're on at your house. Double side, double back, double side, petit bama. In, in, in and out, not front back, in and out. Pinky toe, pinky heel, and pinky heel, and pinky heel. And 
Susu. Take whatever balance you took on the other side. Nice and even. Don't let that heel drop when you get tired. Fight for the clean position. Finish when you're ready, but you have the rest of the song. You go through Susu, change Coupe. Stay lifted. in your technique. At the end, we'll take Susu, we'll turn towards your bar staircase or counter, and we'll take an attitude derriere for the balance. stays under, carry to the front, rotate, rotate that thigh, lift in, and down, susu up, you can certainly repeat again and balance at the end, facing the bar, you'll find your retire, lift to attitude, make sure you're nice and square, stay on relevant, facing the bar, facing on the right side. Okay, we'll take the left side. Yes, and again, I'll let the music go, so if you want to do it a second time, especially more advanced dancers, if you have time for that, here we go. This should be your full height. Find a good retired position. Knee opens. One. Two. Hold the turnout. Heel pulls you forward to the side. Inside of the leg. Don't let it roll in. On bella peg. Toes and down. One. Two. Lift the knee. Don't let it turn in. 
too soon. Open it, let it carry to the back. On Bellape. To the back. Lift the thigh. The thigh lifts out to that arabesque position. The whole thigh rotates under to find a true alisacone on Bellape. To the side. One. Start with the clean material. Lift. Rotate, rotate. So you've got a nice turned out leg. Don't let it tip in. On Bellape. Balance or repeat your second set. If you're balancing, we'll go through Susu. Retirea. Find that attitude position. Don't overcross. Don't let it be too wide. Make sure when you lift to Elange, keep the chest forward. Always make sure the leg is not pushing the body around. Lift Elange. Finish when you're ready. Okay, so you still have two eight counts. If you want to balance a little bit more, finish up your repeat. Make sure the thigh stays rotated. Don't drop it in. Next circles if you're finished. You stay on the high releve. Keep that leg lifting. Don't let it sink when you balance. Pot of finish when you're ready. And we'll take the second side. Good. So make sure again that the leg isn't bullying the upper body around. So when we take the leg to the back, we don't want it to push our body forward. We bring up onto the side. We don't want it to pull off our standing leg or tip our body. To the front, we don't want to have to scrunch our upper body. We don't want that grand mama leg to pull our weight forward. So make sure that your supporting leg, your torso, and your port bra is really maintaining its own placement. Here we go. And we take brush. Big plie, knees over toes. Play with your legs, not your upper body. Hip under. Arabesque. To the side. 
Heel forward. Show off the bottom of your shoe. Second set with Retire. Plie. Up. Down. And up. Down. in the middle. We'll just do a gentle cloche. Yes, eight in attitude, seven, close fifth, retire up. Actually, let's do passe. Passe, close and back, passe, close in front, passe, close and back, passe, close in front, and finish. Um, and we'll do a second side. Arm is in second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straight leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll take retire devant, close behind. Retire devant, close in front. So we're hitting that same retire devant position even though we're doing passes. All right, here we go, last thing. Well, and then we'll do a little center quarter row. Same tempo. And we take one, two, three, four, five, six, straight leg. Plie, in front of the knee, in front of the knee, in front of the knee, and finish. Good, second time. One, two, three, five, six, seven, straight leg. Six, 
seven other side. Yes? So you've got, those are the number of counts you have to do what you will with your pirouette. Okay. And one, two, lift, plie, onto a straight leg. And one, two, heels rotate. Left side, peeking onto a straight leg. Rotate the knees. Heels rotate, clean four. Second set. One, two, five, six. One, two, reach, plie, pirouette. Second side. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll keep trying to do videos about once a week. Thank you. Just got to read some David Hume.